This video was brought to you by GeneralPack.com, making power systems intuitive, open, and free to everyone, everywhere. Consider subscribing and supporting through Patreon.com slash GeneralPack. This is the mechanism for you to support us financially so we can continue making high quality power system video tutorials. Our corporate sponsor for this topic is Illumiax.com from Seattle, Washington. Contact them for industrial and commercial power system studies. Introduction to Per Unit Systems Part 1D Per Unit Systems for Single Phase and Three Phase Systems In the previous videos, Part 1B and Part 1C, we discussed the formulas for converting values into per unit equivalent and described base values and then moved forward by solving a simple example. In this video, Part 1C, we will be deriving the formulas that are involved in per unit calculations for single phase and three phase systems and some of those we have already used in our introductory example in part 1b and it is essential to have a really good understanding of these formulas because we will be using them in calculations for our upcoming videos. First and foremost let's remember that if any two base quantities are given we can find the other two base quantities and hence all four base quantities can be known. In electrical power systems the two base quantities that are almost always given are the base power which we denote as S base and the base voltage which we denote as V base. The calculations of the two other bases really depends on if we have a single phase system or a three phase system. Now this is easily described and easily noted in the very end of the video where we have the table that shows the calculation for single phase and three phase systems but to get there let's start with a simple single phase system. We take a source with apparent power S and voltage V and then connect it to a and to an impedance Z. Now the rating of the source are S and V that are taken as S base and V base and the current flowing is I and the load is Z and this here is the neutral point since we are dealing with single phase system. We are given S base and V base which are two of our known quantities. Now let's calculate I base and Z base which are the unknown and, but can easily be derived. Uh, we know the formula for power that is power is equal to voltage times current. So the base power is equal to the base voltage times the base current. But this can be rearranged to the following. Base current is equal to the base power divided by the base voltage and simply can be rewritten as I base is equal to S base divided by V base. Now this is going to be equation number two. We know that formula for the base impedance is simply base impedance is equal equal to the base voltage square divided by the base power which is simply equal to Z base equals V base squared over S base and this is our equation number three. Now we can see that all of these formulas were discussed in part 1b and we know that per unit values can be calculated using given actual values and these base values. Now moving forward to three phase systems let's draw a Y connected system which is shown below. The N marked is neutral. So so VAN is equal to V phase or simply V phase. And the voltage between A and B, that is our line to line voltage, VAB or VLL. Now let's recall some of the basic formulas for Y connected three phase systems. VLL, which is the line to line voltage, is equal to the square root of three times V phase. And that's the voltage across a single phase. We will call this equation number four. And the line current is equal to the phase phase current. We will call this equation number five. And three phase power is simply equals three times the single phase power or three times V phase times I phase. Now we will call this equation number six. We will now investigate three key points associated with per unit calculations in three phase system which will help us understand how we derive the base quantities intuitively. Now remember that we have used the Y connected system as our example and the equations may change for a delta system. Now this may be described in later parts but just remember that point. Now key point number one is that the line to line voltage in per unit is always equal to phase voltage in per unit. To prove this let's look at an example. It is given that the line to line voltage which is the actual voltage quantity is 100 kV and the line to line voltage which we will call the base voltage is given as 132 kV. 
value. Now let's calculate the line to line voltage in terms of per unit. So the line to line voltage in PU is equal to the actual divided by the base. So it's 100 divided by 132 kV and we get 0.76 per unit. These were the line to line voltages. Now let's calculate the V phase or phase voltage in per unit. That requires the actual and base values of voltages of one phase. So we have to convert the line voltages into phase voltages. So V phase actual is essentially 100 kV divided by root 3 and V phase base is 132 kV divided by root 3. So when we calculate the V phase in per unit we simply divide the actual divide of the base and when we do that we note that the root 3 cancels out. So we essentially get 100 divided by 132 which is 0.76 per unit. Hence it is proved that the line to line voltage in per unit is equal to the phase voltage in per unit. It's pretty straightforward, right? Now, key point number two is that the two base values given are almost always S base and V base. In three phase systems, the S base is the total three phase power of the system and the V base is the line to line voltage. These two quantities are used to calculate I base and Z base. Now, key point number three, all base impedances are given as per phase impedance for three phase systems. So we'll be looking deeper into key point number two and key point number three in the following derivations. As key point number two stated, we are given S base and I base in three phase systems. We will now calculate I base and Z base using our derivations. Taking equation number six that we wrote earlier, which is S three phase is equal to three times the single phase power, which is equal to three times V phase times I phase. Now since S3 phase or the apparent 3 phase power is equal to our apparent base power as base in 3 phase systems, we could rewrite this equation as simply equaling S base equals 3 times V phase times I phase. Since we want to calculate the base current, the other two quantities should be base power and base voltage. We have S base in the above equations. Now to incorporate base voltages, we will be substituting equation number 4 in the above equation which makes S base is equal to 3 times the line to line voltage divided by square root of 3 times the, the phase current. Now we know that the line to line voltage is equal to V base in 3 phase systems. So the equation simply simplifies to S base is equal to 3 times V base divided by square root of 3 times I phase current, which simplifies again to the following, that the S base is simply equal to root 3 times V base times I phase current. Then we solve for the phase current, which we know as I phase is equal to S base divided by the square root of 3 times V base. We know from equation 5 that the line current is equal to the phase current for Y connected power systems, which was taken as I base. So I phase is equal to the line current, which is equal to the base current, which is equal to S base divided by the square root of 3 times V base. Or we can also write substituting V base with the line to line voltage, which simplifies this slightly, which equals S3 phase divided by the square root of 3 times the line to line voltage. Now we will call this equation number 7. And here, boxed in, we have the formula for the I phase current. Now let's calculate Z base. As key point number three states that all the base impedances are in per phase values. So Z phase is equal to V phase divided by I phase. This we will call equation number eight. Now substituting equation number four into equation number eight gives us Z phase is equal to the line to line voltage divided by the square root of three divided by I phase. Now this is not something that's new. We already know this but we're just kind of simplifying this even further. We can also write this equation simply as the Z base is equal to the line to line voltage over root 3 divided by I base. Now let's substitute equation number 7 into the above equation, which simplifies even further. Z base is equal to the line to line voltage divided by the square root of 3, divide that whole thing by S3 phase divided by the square root of 3 times the line to line voltage. Rearranging the equation, Z base is equal to the line to line voltage over 
over root 3 times the square root of 3 times the line to line voltage. Divide that whole thing by 3 phase power as 3 phase. Yeah, I know it's getting a bit complicated, a bit hairy, but root 3 and root 3 cancels out. And so which simplifies this entire equation to simply equaling z base is equal to the line to line voltage squared divided by s3 phase. And we could remove the line to line and 3 phase and write simple base equations as z base is equal to v base squared divided by s base. And that is what we call equation number 9. Now we went through this long and complicated derivation so we can understand exactly how these equations are derived. But at the end of the day, we are only concerned about the simplified equations, which we will summarize below. So for single phase systems, the base current is equal to I base is equal to S base divided by V base. And the base impedance is equal to Z base is equal to V base squared divided by S base. Now these are, this is for single phase systems. For three phase systems and specifically for Y connected three phase systems, our base current is equal to simply I base is equal to S base divided by square root of three times times V base and our base impedance is equal to the Z base equal to V base squared divided by S base. These were the formulas that were calculated for single phase and three phase systems. Now these two formulas here, which is the Z base for both single phase and three phase Y connected will be the same and they are shown as being the same provided that V base is actually line to line voltage and S base is actually three phase power respectively for three phase systems. In the next video, we will talk about per unit systems advantages. We hope you have a continued interest in this topic and series as a student or professional and we also hope you find this content useful and enlightening please consider subscribing to generalpack.com and becoming our patron at patreon.com slash generalpack. Thank you.